This is a follow-up to our previous video, which was a review of traditional algorithm, lattice, and the box method. I wanted to show how these are interconnected a little bit more. So I took my previous image, and instead of writing in all black, I changed everything to color code it to show how lattice and the traditional algorithm are the exact same thing. For starters, I want you to look where it says 8 times 2 is 16. You can see that 1, that's the 10 and 16, is red. If you come down here, 8 times 2 is 16. And you see that 10 from the 16 is that red, same red 1. Next thing we're going to do is the 4 times the 2 is 8. You can see the color code in there. 4 times 2 is 8, but you also add that 1 in, and now you have 9. In the lattice method, you're not going to see the 9. It's these two numbers combined. Next thing we do in the traditional algorithm is we do 8 times 1, which is really 8 times 10, because this 1 is the 10 and 12. So 8 times 10 is 80. It's the same as, oh, I accidentally got my 8s backwards, but 8 times 10. So 8 times the 10 is 80. This is the tens column, 80. Then we do the 4 times the 1, which is really 40 times 10. 4 times 1 makes 4, but this is now in the hundreds diagonal. So this is 400. Down here it's 400. And that is how these two methods are actually the exact same thing. If you're wondering what that error was with the 80 being the wrong color, I've fixed it here, so you can pause and check it out. Comment with any questions you have or anything that surprised you. Like and subscribe! Now I'm going to show you what the traditional algorithm and the box method have in common. Again, I color-coded it all same colors as before. In the traditional algorithm, you start with 8 times 2 is 16, carry the 1. Over here, you see 8 times 2 is 16. Back up at the traditional method, 8 times 1 is 9 because of this. So you do 8 times 1 is 8 plus the 1 is 9. Over here, what you see is 8 times 10, because this 1 is really 10, the 10 and 12. 8 times 10 is 80. Now, we do 4 times 1, which is really 40 times 10. 40 times 10, which is 400. 400. So when you look at them color-coded and you see that they've been pulled apart in different ways, and you see that they've been pushed together in different ways, I want to show you one more thing. This is how the four pieces of the box method, those are the partial products method, becomes the two pieces that you see in the traditional algorithm. Look at this. 96. 80 plus 16 is 96. 480? 400 plus 80 is 480. And that is how they took the four pieces, they spun it into two pieces, then you wrap it back together, and it makes 576. Cheers!